So we're doing the character Ballora from Five Nights at Freddy's. And the colors that we're gonna be using are white, black, a few shades of pink, red, two different shades of blue, and two shimmery powders, a blue one and a pink one. We're gonna start by sketching the design out with a flesh-toned pencil. We're sketching out four big sections and we're doing this makeup with the eyes shut so we can do Ballora's big eyes. Ballora's eyes are an almond shape and she's got a blue eyelid up top and bottom which we'll do with blue paint. And she's got two brows, a blue brow here and here. And she's got a bit of a forehead plate here. Down in her mouth, she's got little cheek circles. Ballora has a big smile, so we're gonna be going over the mouth today. She's got pink lips, but they've been divided into four pieces. And she's got some little teeth down the bottom too. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the white base. So we're using the white paint and we're gonna use a sponge. And you want to mix up a nice creamy consistency that isn't too watery, but it isn't too dry either. And we're gonna start with a stippling action. If you've got enough on your sponge, you don't have to press too hard. You don't wanna be smearing the makeup around because you'll probably just get lots of brush strokes and it will look uneven. And it's good to sort of let it dry and then you can come back and do a second layer. We will have to redraw a little bit, but that's okay. As the paint starts to dry, you can smooth it out more. You can get a nice, even base. Now I'm just gonna get a little brush just to go around the nose area. With the brush, I'm gonna do where Ballora's eyes are going to be. The rest is going to be black. This is just for the center of the eye. So we're using a dabbing motion just on top of the eye. I'm just gonna smooth out some of the last remaining bits. Now the next thing we're gonna do is some shading. So then we're gonna go in with a black eyeshadow where you've divided Ballora's face up. We're just gonna shade over those lines. When we give the line some shading, it creates a shadow, which creates depth, which creates more of a 3D effect. This is just a regular fluffy eyeshadow brush. It just gives a nice diffused edge. I'm just putting black where we're gonna paint black. It gives a nice guideline. A little bit of shading here. And we're just gonna do a little bit of shading in here for rounded cheeks. We're gonna just do a little bit of shading down the nose. We're gonna start with the blue for around the eye area. For this, I'm just using a synthetic pointy paintbrush. And when you're painting over someone's brow, go in the direction of the brow because then you can stick them down at the same time. Okay, now we're gonna go underneath. Now we're doing the underneath eyelid using the blue. Just gonna get a nice smooth line. So this is Ballora's bottom eyelid. Now we're gonna do the same on the other side. Now we're gonna do Ballora's eyebrows and we're gonna use a bit more of a lighter blue. Different blue is a bit of an aqua, just for something different. Using a nice pointy synthetic paintbrush. And now we're gonna go back to the other blue because Ballora has a blue plate at the top of her head that becomes her hair. So we're gonna fill in this area up here. Now we're gonna move down and do her cheeks and some of her teeth. We're gonna move to a really nice bright pink. I'm gonna use a medium flat brush for this part. And again, get a good consistency. It's good to get a good flat brush because you can let the shape of the brush help you make perfect circles. If you just get the flat end and do like one semicircle and then go back the other way, it does it for you. I'm gonna go back in with some white on a flat synthetic brush and paint where Ballora's teeth are gonna be, which are right down the bottom here. And then back in with the pink on the same brush. These are her top lips. So we're just doing Ballora's lips now, and because it's quite finicky, it's good to hold the brush like a pen, get your pinky and lean there, just to give yourself some stability. Ballora's lips are divided into four different sections, because her face is divided into two. And these are gonna have a darker pink outline anyway. Before I go into the black, I wanna give her cheeks and lips a little bit more definition, so I'm actually gonna get some red and do some outlining. Just giving the cheek some depth. I'm just gonna add some deeper red tone to the lip. Almost gives a shadow effect. It doesn't matter if the bottom's a little messy because you're gonna paint black there anyway as part of her mouth. So these are the pupils of Ballora's eyes. Make sure your model keeps their eyes shut while you're doing this so the paint can dry. Before we finish everything off with the black, I'm gonna use a flat eyebrow brush just to pick up some of the color. 
It's just a shimmery blue powder. So you could use a blue shimmery eyeshadow for this. And I'll just do a little bit on her eyelids. It does give a bit more of a robotic feel and just enhances it. Now we're gonna use a little bit of pink shimmery eyeshadow just on a fluffy bullet brush. We're just gonna go back to the cheeks and we're gonna just shade a bit of a shadow with it. Just where we did that red line of depth. And it doesn't matter if you're not too neat because we're gonna outline these in black. I'm just gonna pat some in the center for the color of the pupils. Just doing some shimmery blue powder on the forehead to reflect the light. Okay, now we're gonna start with the black. Switching brushes to a nice pointy paintbrush. We're gonna work from the top of the head to the bottom to reduce the risk of smudging. Don't forget the edges are rounded off because there are sections of her face that come apart. I think this is the most difficult part, but the part that makes the biggest difference. Just doing some shadow lines under the brows. And now we're moving into the eye area, which is probably the hardest part. We're gonna start with the shape of the eye first. And I'm sort of rounding these edges off as I go. This is difficult because it's the most important part of the makeup. And we do the same on the other side. Now while I'm here, I'm gonna draw the circle of her eyes. So you just gotta remember to keep your eyes shut during this time. And while we're here, I'm gonna draw a circle around her pupil so you again keep your eyes real still. Now we're gonna move over to the other side, adding some depth there for the pupil. Now I'm just gonna even up the eyes a little bit. And we will go back at the end and do some white reflective highlights. If you make a mistake, it doesn't matter. You can add a highlight over it. We're gonna continue with the rest of the face. Now we're gonna do the black of the mouth. I'm gonna just try and do a straight line where her teeth are. All right, let's do these teeth. I'm gonna actually do a line going straight down. Now I'm just gonna make these teeth a little bit shorter. Now we're just gonna do some little details. She's got some nuts and bolts holding her together. Now we're just gonna go in with a highlight. We're gonna get some white. We're gonna add reflections where the light would hit. There we go. 